hello friends welcome to my channel code blocks so in this video my topic is capgemini pseudocode in the earlier two videos i told you the uh, first 10 questions of pseudocode uh, okay and i uh, solved you uh, solved to you and now uh, i am starting from question number 11 okay so what will be output of the following pseudocodes so first of all they are uh, giving the two string str1 and str2 str2 is uh, is um, dot and str2 is comma okay if uh, so first condition is if g u in not in str1 that means uh, capital alphabet g and u are obviously they are not in str1 that means the our if loop will be executed and str2 becomes str2 becomes str2 plus that means str2 comma plus str1 that means dot that means uh, it becomes uh, comma and then dot okay and then one more thing uh, the comma and plus again str1 that means dot okay that means it becomes com comma comma and dot okay now uh, after uh, completing the uh, uh, after executing if loop we have to come across this statement again str2 becomes str2 plus that means comma comma and then dot then plus uh, j o s t r 1 then plus str1 that means dot okay so execute output will becomes comma comma dot j o s t r 1 then dot that means the our first option one is it will be correct answer okay now comes to question number 12 solve the given post page expression so so this is a uh, this is a given a post page expression we have to evaluate this okay so first of all comes to this is a stack okay so we have to create a stack and we have to put the uh, elements into this two and then three and then operator comes okay then we have to execute this uh, two three plus two that is five in the, the top of the stack becomes five okay and now uh, we have to push uh, one okay so one now an operator comes cross multiplication that means our now uh, top of the stack is becomes 5 okay and now again 5 uh, comes and top of the stack becomes 5 and then an operator comes so 5 divided by 5 that is equal to 1 so top of the stack is 1 so our output will be 1 okay now comes to 13 13 okay so what will be output of the following pseudo code so x y and z set uh, y becomes 1 and x becomes uh, x now 2 okay so we have to find z z is equal to x sign y so this sign means this is an zor zor signs okay so zor means uh, 0 of 0 that is truth table of zor is 0 0 1 0 1 1 sorry 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 0 okay so this is a zor truth table and now x becomes uh, 0 1 okay and uh, y becomes 0 1 and x be, be x is equal to 1 0 okay so we, we have to get the output 101 and 101 on so this is 1 and this is 2 so 1 plus 2 that is 0 3 so our, our output will be 3 okay now comes to question number 14 what, uh, what will be output of the following series will be printed by the given pseudo code okay that means b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 5 okay and uh, for each uh, we have to start a for loop uh, a start from uh, 2 uh, 2 to 4 okay first of all you have to print c so c will be printed that means 5 now check the options in the given option only one option say uh, one option is uh, printed 5 so our output will be will be 5 one option one so we don't need to again execute this uh, for loop okay because we are getting our output 5 8 10 now comes to question number 15 predict the output of the following c2 code okay so our uh, value becomes value is equal to 1 and n is equal to 45 okay we have to uh, execute this while loop value less than uh, equals to n n means 45 so obviously it will execute and value this signs this signs means left shift okay left shift left shift means suppose you are uh, given in binary sequence one and one okay so our left shift means uh, we have to uh, that means now you if you are given one zero okay so this left side means uh, you have to uh, move this one to left side okay one more left side so that means one zero and zero okay so its value becomes zero one two that means four previously to it was one so in this way we have to move with this okay now first of all the, our value becomes one after left shift it becomes uh, one zero 
now it's four uh, two first of all one then two it value two two obviously less than a n okay now after left sheet again left sheet it will be now one zero zero now its values becomes four four obviously less than n now it becomes again left shift uh, one zero 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 so now it becomes eight again left shift and eight and now it's become um eight uh, to the three eight to the four sixteen okay that means sixteen sixteen obviously less than n again left shift okay and after left shift it becomes uh, to the four to the five thirty two okay thirty two less than n because our our n is forty five okay less than equals to n then again left shift after left shift our um, value becomes two to the five this is two to the five and after left shift it becomes two to the five six that means sixty four no now comes here sixty four is not uh, value becomes sixty sixty four sixty four does not less than equals to n so it goes and print value print value is sixty four okay sixty four will be our correct answer now comes to question number sixteen okay uh, x is equal to uh, x is equal to fifteen and y is equal to twelve and now y is equal to x minus one that means fifteen minus one that is fourteen uh, okay now our value of y will be changed now execute do while loop first of all they will print it x x means fifteen okay so fifteen will be printed fifteen will be printed then x becomes y plus x minus two y means fourteen fourteen plus x minus two x min x means fifteen thirteen so that means twenty seven okay now again x will be printed that means twenty seven will be printed in this way this is our output answer fifteen twenty seven okay this one again uh, it will be executed okay Le must be less than fourteen uh, fourteen uh, again is will uh, x will be executed and uh, after printing x x becomes y or now y becomes what y becomes fourteen and plus x x become twenty seven twenty seven minus so that means twenty five that is thirty nine again thirty nine will be printed so this is our answer to fifteen twenty seven thirty nine okay now comes to question number seventeen here you are given with uh, b is equal to zero And c is equal to zero. Okay. And for each uh, a start from one to five. Okay. So we have to print, first of all print. We have to print c. C means zero. Okay. Obviously zero will be printed. Now after that uh, c becomes c plus b. C plus b. Okay. Uh, now after that uh, b becomes zero plus one. That means one. And c becomes c plus b. That means zero plus one. That means one. Okay. In the next loop one will be printed. So zero one. This is our sequence. We do not execute the whole while uh, the the whole for loop, okay? Because we are getting our output as zero and one, okay? Now comes to question number eighteen. Uh, predict the output, okay? So we have to find the output. X is equal to one and y is equal to two, okay? So uh, this is the function, recursive function. If x greater than one, no, obviously no, because x is equal to one, it is not greater than one. So if does does not execute this if loop does not execute, and print y, we have to print just print y. Y means two. So our our answer will be two. Okay, just an easy question. Now comes to question number nineteen. Okay, uh, integer a, b, and c set c is equal to twelve. So c is equal to twelve and b is equal to four. So a is equal to c divided by b. That means twelve by four. That means three. And now c becomes uh, b means uh, what four? Four uh, right shift. Right shift. Uh, okay. Right shift a a means three. Okay. So four. Um, that means you have to right shift a four three times. Okay. It means you have to right shift four three times. Four means one zero 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 one two. Okay. So four means one zero zero. You have to right shift uh, three times. Okay, that means now it becomes zero zero one, and then again zero 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 one, and again zero zero zero. Oh, sorry, uh, extremely sorry. You have to uh, not left shift. You have to put it right shift. Okay, extremely sorry. So our our phone means one zero zero. You have to you have to right shift three times. Okay, now uh, first time after right shifting, the first time is zero one zero. And then um, first time this is one first time, and after that second time zero zero one, and after third time it becomes zero zero zero. Okay, so our output will be zero. But after after completing third uh, third shifting third times right shift. Okay, right shift. That means you have to shift the one right way, right side. Okay, after right side the our value will be zero. So this is our answer. 
so our uh, this is uh, this is how uh, we have solved from uh, question number 11 to question number 19 in the next video i solved you more aptitude question if you if agar uh, apne pehle video pe nahi dekha hai to pehle video dekh lijiye agar apne abhi tak subscribe nahi kiya to subscribe kar lijiye kyunki aage jo capgemini ke exam aane wala hai wo capgemini exam mein in pseudo code ka mahatva bahut zyada hai aur ek aur ek video maine diya hai jo capgemini ka game based aptitude hai wo uske bare mein bhi maine bataya hai wahan par total jo 6 game hai 6 गेम्स आर मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट गेम्स उस गेम को मैंने एग्जीक्यूट किया है मतलब आपको बताया है कि किस तरीके से आप उस गेम को खेल सकते हैं लेवल अप कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो चलिए इस अभी तक इस इस वीडियो के लिए अभी अभी तक यहां पर आगे के वीडियो के लिए इंतजार करिए